Good morning and welcome to Carvely St Wilfrid's Morning Prayers on this Tuesday the 24th of August and today's readings are taken from Psalm 86 and we've got a New Testament reading from John chapter 1 verses 43 to 51 and I want to encourage you all today to look out onto God's beautiful creation We've had the privilege of being away on holiday in Croatia and we were staying just under a mountain and we could also see in the other direction the beautiful turquoise blue sea and just the amazing colours and breathing in that fresh air, uh, blueness and the awe of the mountains struck me that God has provided us with a wonderful world and I suppose on holiday we do have time to pause and look around us and breathe it in. And as I've come back to Carvely and gone running along the canal and seen the green uh, and the trees and the, the wildlife that's going around, just has given me fresh eyes. And I just hope today that you can have fresh eyes for the world around you and see God's wonder and beauty in his creation. So let us begin. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let us say a prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. And we turn to our reading, our psalm reading. Psalm 86. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am devoted to you. You are my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift my soul. You are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry for mercy. In the day of my trouble, I will call to you for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord. No deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name, for you are great and do marvellous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love towards me. You have delivered me from the depths of the grave. The arrogant are attacking me, O God. A band of ruthless men seeks my life. Men without regard for you. But you, O Lord, are compassionate and gracious God. Slow to anger. Abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Grant your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. God of mercy, who in your great love drew your son from the depths of the pit, Bring your people from death to life, that we may rejoice in your compassion and praise you now and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for evermore. Amen. And now let us turn to our New Testament reading. John chapter 1, verses 43 to 51. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, were from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathanael asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said to him, Here is a true Israelite, in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You shall see greater things than that. He then added, I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. And isn't that an amazing piece of scripture that God really knows each of us like he knows and he can see Nathaniel on his journey. He knows and he can see us. He can see us today. He knows how, we, how we're feeling, what we're thinking. He knows where our heart is. And I just pray now that we can connect with Jesus and allow him to know us and to be reassured that he does know us and wants us to be part of his team, part of his journey and to work with him for his glory. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. And we come to the song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to see his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before God and prepare his name, prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet unto the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for evermore. You need, did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that shall last. And we come to our time of prayers of intercession. Lord, let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Lord, we pray that this day may be holy, good and joyful. We pray to you, O Lord that we may offer you our worship and our work. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation. We pray to you, O Lord, that in the pleasures and pain of life, we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with your saints, in trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord, 
let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Let us just have a moment of silence as we offer up to the Lord those who are particularly on our heart today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we come to the collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, who gave to your apostle Bartholomew grace to truly to believe and to preach your word, grant that your church may love that word which he believed and may faithfully preach and receive the same through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so, as our Saviour taught us, let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in life eternal. Amen. <laughs>